Okay, guys, welcome back. So we know that the All right, guys, welcome back. So we know that the Bauer batteries did not work with the Walt, even when we just used jumpers to connect them. A few of you guys asked if the DeWalt batteries worked when you used the jumpers the way I had them, so let me show you that. The DeWalt hooked up to its own battery with the jumpers. Works fine. I got the uh, three amp hour Bauer battery here. Let's crack her open. Open this one up, open one of those up, and see what the differences are on the inside. As we showed before, you got your positive and negative terminal. You got three other terminals here, and then that's actually split. So there's a total of six terminals there. On the Harbor Freight Hercules, they didn't have any of these, that center terminal or the lower ones there. So it leads me to believe that either there is no cell balancing when you charge them on the Harbor Freight Hercules at all, or it's somehow done internally, but in any event, that won't work with the DeWalt system. You look at the DeWalt charger, it's got your positive, negative, and then six other terminals, which is probably for load balancing or cell balancing to make sure each cell is charged the same. So let's get both of these open and see what's inside. First thing I notice is how much physically larger this is, and this is only a three amp hour versus the five amp hour for the DeWalt. So let's see if they have a different number of cells inside here. You got the GF30, assuming that's glass fiber filled 30%, so pretty tough. Same with this part of it. Pulls out. Well, look at that. So inside the Bauer, we've got Samsung cells, 10 of them, nice and neat. Uh, you got the load balancing or charge balancing wires here, so pretty slick set up there. Let's see how it compares to the DeWalt. Oh, got the security Torx or star drive on there. Let me see if I got those. Had to dig deep, but I had one. ABS plus PC. Anybody know what that means? Put it in the comments below. Very similar configuration here. Uh, big difference is just these ones are spaced. Look, you see the see the spacing there versus the DeWalt ones are just packed in there much tighter. I actually shorted this battery out. This one's dead. And looks like that's what gave up there. So maybe I can revive it by reconnecting that up look at that yeah fixed okay and the cells inside here all done there you go learn that from someone smarter than me Okay, there we go. All right, inside the DeWalt, we also have Samsung 18650s. Let's check the interwebs and see what the difference between these are. Okay, inside the DeWalt, you have the green Samsungs, which are 2,500 milliamp batteries, so about the highest real capacity you can get and a good battery there. Inside the Bauer, you have the Samsung 1500 milliamp hours, so that's the difference between the three amp hours for this one and the five for this one. 
Now that we got this apart, let's see if we can't get this to work on the drill again. So directly connected, I can see all the pins are connected here. Still not working. So yeah, if you look closely on the back of that connector there, you can see there's a lot more on that board than just direct connections. So that's why you're never going to be able to get these to work. But surprisingly high quality in the Bauer package here. Wasn't suspecting that they were going to have high quality Samsung name brand cells in there. All right, now that I think about it, this Bauer battery pack from Harbor Freight was 35 bucks for the three amp hour, which has 10 Samsung 1500 milliamp batteries in it. About the cheapest I saw online from a reputable source, mind you, because you never know what you're getting on eBay. Actually, you know you're not getting what you paid for on eBay if you buy these batteries. Um, they're almost five bucks a piece, so that's 50 bucks. So if you need some good 18650 cells, Mind you, these ones don't have protection in them. You know, Harbor Freight's got them on the shelf. Buy them there.